I'm Nugget, and today is my first ever Inktober video. Inktober is a drawing challenge during the month of October where you have a prompt for each of the 31 days and you make a piece of art based on the prompt. I've never done Inktober, so hopefully this will be very fun. <laughs> the way I'll be doing it is drawing based on the prompt each day, obviously, and then posting a recap each week of what I did. This is the first video, and it will have the first five prompts in it, so let's get into it. I'm going to be using this sketchbook, which has a few pages filled out from another art challenge that I never finished, but I'm going to use it for Inktober, and then use the rest of the pages for anything else I want. But first, a title page. Wonderful! Now, the first prompt is Backpack, and I've decided to turn a Minecraft skin that I've made into a drawing. I made this skin probably like a year and a half ago, and it's still remained one of my favorite skins that I've made. And look, she has a backpack, so it's perfect. <laughs> I drew her sitting down so I could practice poses, and she's got her backpack next to her so you can see it. Having some minor issues with the feet, they're a little marshmallowy. Do, 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 do. Flower crab. I got away with hiding one of the arms behind the backpack, but we're here for improvement and growth, so I drew her hand up and waving, and after a couple attempts at proportions, I was happy with that. Time for ink! I'm going to be outlining with my pens, but I'm not going to be making the whole drawing in black ink, because if I did 31 of those drawings, I would get really bored. <laughs> I need color! And although Inktober started out as an ink-only challenge, over the years the rules have loosened up quite a bit, so this is fine. I still thought that was a marshmallow feet. <laughs> and we're on to color already. I wanted this very specific shade of pink, so I tried like mixing the colors of my alcohol markers. Uh, I think it kind of worked. Really in the flower crown and then her shorts. For the cuff of her shorts, I used a technique an artist friend taught me. You let some of the color bleed onto the colorless blender, and when you color with it, it makes a more faded version of the original. And it was just perfect for the folded over bit of her shorts. Filling in her skin and shading with purple, I love doing this with the light purple. It really just makes it feel more like skin. <laughs> And filling in her eyes, a much needed detail, and her face. Filling in her hair, and then the backpack, which is a nice brown. And then adding a shadow with the gray, adding the prompt at the top, and my signature, and that is day one done. Time for day two! This prompt is Discover, and I immediately had an under the sea themed idea, and as soon as I get the shape right, you'll see what my idea is. So I've decided to draw a mermaid discovering a clamshell, and the clamshell is like really big, I'm now realizing. <laughs> That's okay, it doesn't have to be realistic. And practicing arms again, I feel like this one actually came out pretty good, <laughs> if I do say so myself. And her fins, and trying to figure out that tail situation and how it connects to her body behind that shell. That's okay. Outlining time. I really like how I did her hair. It's kind of like floating in the water, like how it should. <laughs> I went with orange hair. I just feel like red and orange are very normal colors for a mermaid. I don't know. At this point, I decided to take off the gloves because knowing me, I will most certainly get marker stain on them, so that's probably a good idea. Filling in her skin and then coloring the clam, which was actually really fun to color. I don't know why. I guess I've never done a clam before, I don't think. And the pearl, it came out a little darker than I was hoping, but it's okay. Then filling in her tail with these really rich dark greens and blues, I thought it was so nice. <laughs> and using the same technique with the colorless blender to get the translucent effect on her tail fins. And then I thought it needed something, so I added some like scales and sparkly bits with my white and silver poscas. And I feel like that really made it like all shimmery and shiny. 
and I really like the effect that it gave. And that is day two finished. Also, I forgot my signature, but I did go back and add it later. Day three, and today's prompt is boots. Now I've decided to redraw an old digital drawing of mine of these little bear boots. I drew this on Spark when Spark was still around and I decided to draw it in my current skill set. <laughs> so I went with a thicker outline, you know, those little fuzzies and the little bear faces. I think it's quite cute. I was having trouble figuring out how to draw the bottom of the foot. It looks a little off a perspective and all that is hard. <laughs> When I was coloring the skin, I noticed that some of the marker from the sheet that's supposed to protect from marker bleed through was coming up and bleeding onto my artwork. So I cleaned the little sheet of plastic and that got most of it off, enough that I could continue anyways. I'm filling in the bears. I love this dark brown color scheme. I just love dark browns. I think they're really pretty. I added a little bit of white highlight and the shadow. That's day three. Day four, we are on to exotic. I immediately thought of one of my favorite birds, the Quetzal. It's this little bird that lives in Guatemala along with other places in South America and I think it's exotic. It seems very exotic to me and they have these really long tail feathers and they're the most adorable bright color scheme. So that's what I decided to draw today. The tail feathers, I don't think they actually curve like that, but I wanted to keep it all in the same page, so I made them curve a little bit. may not be particularly accurate, but... <laughs> the outlining and then coloring. So they have red bellies and then the rest of them is a variety of different greens. It's kind of Christmassy, but also it doesn't remind me of Christmas, funny enough. I guess it's just different colors. It's not Christmas green and Christmas red. It's more like emerald green along with a little bit of blue I've noticed as well and I think they're just so cute and so pretty. Filling in the tail feathers trying to make them look feathery because that's what they should look like and filling in the little branch she's sitting on and that's day four. Finally, we have day five, binoculars. So I got inspired by something I saw on Pinterest, but with my own spin to it, that's what I've done. So it's this girl holding up binoculars and there's like a little sky scene in the binoculars. I just thought it was really cool. And I actually really like how this one came out, spoiler alert. <laughs> I gave her nice fluffy hair and a sweater. And it's time for the outlining, which I went a little bit different. I gave parts of it like a thicker line and I really like the effect of it. I might try some more of it next week. So in her binoculars there's sky, clouds, and a rainbow. Coloring her skin now, again with the purple shading. <laughs> is really wobbly. Why is it so wobbly? I went dark brown with her hair. Using sky blue for her sweater and the sky. How fitting. Again, with the purple shading even on the sweater. I did that and panicked, but then I put some white Posca over it and hoped that once it dried, I could go over it and it would be fine. Moving on to the binoculars, filling in the sky and the fluffy clouds, and it's time for rainbow. So I went kind of out of order in the coloring just so I could get all the little sections of color evenly or as evenly as possible. Do, 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 do. Coloring in binoculars. Some gray. Nothing exciting there. I added some shiny in her hair, the binoculars reflection, and that is day five. Wait, when did I fix the neck? Did I fix the neck? I must have deleted that clip. Well, <laughs> I fixed the neck. <laughs> Day 
And that is Inktober 2024, my very first episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching to the end of the video. And I will see you next week for Inktober episode 2.